So this is part three of repairing the Amana incest dryer in Vensus. So basically this just came back from the bending shop. I'll leave it to your imagination to figure out how to heat up and bend a piece of plastic. Um, I use a heat gun personally, but I'm kind of doing this on the fly. So I didn't really, you know, put it in a vise or make it overly complicated. I just held it with some pliers and slowly bent at it. Of course, if you overheat it, you'll start to char the edges. As you can see, it starts to happen. So you got to be careful with the heat, probably not open flame. Anyways, that little bend, that was a perfectly straight cam or whatever cog before. Now it has a little bend in it. So now what I'm going to do is start to reassemble this. See if I can do it all one handed. But basically this one goes on this post right here. And this one goes in first. And I also, I used an emery board and uh, just filed down these contacts just to clean up the carbon. Yeah, that's a good idea as well, just to help the connection. And then next thing you can slide in is this one here with the long piece that goes down all the way to the bottom should go in next and go kind of off to the side over here. This one does a different connection over there. It's easy to put that one in first. And then the, the wheel can go in. You can kind of just kind of turn it and kind of work it in. And you'll feel it kind of everything falling into place. And you may, you may need to push this over a little bit in order to kind of turn this into where it needs to be. But you'll start to see everything falling into place as it goes in. Oh, actually, you know where it's hanging up is this, this needs to be behind that contact. So... These are the things that if you're not familiar with these, you could make some error and maybe not get it all back together. But this basically has to slip down over here. There we go. So yet I had to bend this piece of contact right there to get this to slip down in there properly. But when you, when you get it all right, the um, see this piece right down in here, it bottomed out, you know, it was on this post and then it fit all the way down and it's bottomed out down over there so then now I know that's correct. And it starts to turn better too, obviously, once you get it in position. And then last is this piece, the, the first one I took out, goes on this very small post right there. And then that one has to make contact with these, with this contact up here and slide down as far as it goes. So that's all reassembled as far as that goes. The next thing you do is put the plate back on, which I don't know, it's always trial and error to get that plate to fit just right. Okay, there, there's the correct fit right there. And you turn it over. And I mean, this is the part that's hard when you're one handed or doing it one handed, but basically hold that. Put the motor only fits on one way, so you just, you know, get the screw holes lined up and basically like that put your two screws back in same way you took them out Phillips and that and that's that I'm not gonna get the other screw in because it's hard to do it one-handed but basically that's it just everything will fit back together hopefully you took a picture and then the part four video is coming up I'm gonna do that continuity test again and wiggle on the timer and see if it breaks contact